I see my family have been busy. I have a present for your father. May I come in? Spousa. Can't offer you tea, I'm afraid. Coffee, Archer. Black. No sugar. I know you need a new typewriter, Mr. Sykes. Not really. Is it bugged? No. Although I have done to it what I think was done to the old one. Talk to Hathaway, old man. Hathaway is so difficult to get hold of. Thanks. Finding him and stopping him won't be easy, but once I have some more words from you on this, I'll have the upper hand. Boring, boring, Archie's in love with me. <coughs> Shut up, Orphan. Mr. Sykes, if you do the words on this typewriter, I'll give you a million pounds. Just to show I'm in earnest. Yes, I was wondering when you'd get around to that. Now listen to me. I'd rather see Awful rule the world than you. You just don't have a clue, do you? I know you're in earnest. So am I. So why don't you just go away and stop bothering me? Mrs. Sykes, I don't know how else to persuade him. I'll leave the typewriter in case he changes his mind. Fifi, I have the car outside. Would you like to go somewhere? Lunch? We've got to try and find Hathaway. Somewhere old fashioned and hard to find by the sound of it. What about an antique shop? Down those lanes by the cathedral? Yeah. After lunch. When they're asleep. Goes. Could we go and see Torquil instead? Hi, Dad, come on! Bit of luck at last. You come out without your big ugly nurse, mate. You wouldn't have come near us if he was around! Exactly. We wanted to talk to you. Well, what about? About Shine. We want to see Shine. <laughs> Do you hear that, lads? He wants to see Shine. <laughs> well, old son, your wish is granted. Up 
Have you quite finished goggling? We didn't think that... That the head of organised crime would be a woman? Want to make anything of it? Enjoying my little den? What I can see of it. Good. Because you'll be getting to know it rather well. <laughs> I'm not letting go of you in hurry now, I've got you. <laughs> so, you better come and make yourselves comfortable. Take the weight off your feet. Your dad's going to be so scared about you two. He's going to fall over his fingers to write words for me. Dad won't write any more words. He's gone obstinate. The more you lot bully him, the worse he gets. <laughs> Better hope he doesn't stay obstinate. Time to go. The folks are coming back. Not that way, you idiot. No time. Out the back by the window. So stupid. Do you want to rule the world too? No. I only want what I know. And what I know is crime. Our chicken have the world. I'll take the world's crime. But it's not Archer getting the words anyway. It's Hathaway. Sneaky Hathaway. Not convinced. Oh, fools! Told you this morning you needed a heavier cutter. Go and steal a laser. And a van to carry it in. Just can't get the calibre of crook these days. Any idiot thinks he can steal. Where were we? Hathaway. If you don't think it's him, who? Which one of us hasn't been after your father? You tell me. There, on the corner of Bishop's Lane. Oh, I know it's a police van. Feel like annoying my little sister, Dillian. Take it. Did you make the lights in the lanes? Most of them. Round ears, Shine Town. Shine Town. Wish I farmed crime. What about you, Letty? Fancy a life of crime? Just think about the scams, the rip-offs, the riches. Being the one who collects who isn't pushed around, travels the world. Think about it. Think of planning a robbery, waiting in the getaway car. The others come flying up, dump the gold in the trunk. Think about the thrill. I'm thinking. No, awful. Please don't. She's trying to recruit us. Sure I am. Get you on my side. You'll get around, Daddy. No. No! Shine, darling. Get off my screen, you! Goody, goody, I don't want to look at you! Then you shouldn't pinch my police van. So silly, dear. Made me notice what you're up to. So? I'm robbing one of Archer's banks. What's it to you? Oh, no, dear. That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Quentin Sykes' little children, whom you have there with you. What about them? You're not to harm them. And if you try and use them against Quentin Sykes, you'll be raided again. And this time, I may be forced to put you in prison. Go to blazes! Shine! Oh, good grief. What, you want a pyramid? I've had the most marvellous idea. A 
about Archer. Good gracious. It's Limpet Boy Sykes. And I think that's his sister. Can't tell you in front of them. Send them home. Crank on to your head, little brother. I'm not losing them now, I've got them. Do something with them, or I shan't tell you. Do you, or do you not want to have Archer at your mercy? I could always go to Dillian. Oh, all right. Hind! You can have those two for half an hour, but don't kill them. I need them. Let me go! from shine. Knew you'd come. Leave off. Get out quick. Mum's got a car. Oh, are you all right? She's all right. Good. Go quick. Side farm's all this bit. Don't ever do that again. I've been so worried. Where were you, anyway? Looking for Hathaway. Won't be here. Lives in past. You might say thank you to the goon. At least he knew where to find you. Thanks, goon. I don't know what they'd do without you. Awful. What? Look, did you... Try and try to, oh, you know. Enchantress! Don't be silly. I don't want to be bossed by anyone. I want to be the top one. Anyway, she was horrible. Fat and horrible. Archie's left the lights on. Never realised how nice it was. What? Oh, just light and parents.
Quentin. Tax demand. It's for twenty-three thousand pounds. <coughs> And 56p. Don't forget the 56p. Quentin? Yes. Even you could not possibly owe £23,000. Dear Mr Sykes, blah, 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 blah. The sum at present outstanding, allowing for compound interest charged on all sums overdue for the past... 13 years now stands at £23,056p. Quentin, you swore to me that you were paying the taxes. I was. Well, that was what the words were for. Mountjoy said they'd be instead. Instead of taxes? Fool to believe him, wasn't I? <laughs> Dad, what do you do? This is the end. I'll have to sell the house. You'd sell our home? Rather than consider... Giving in? Yes, of course I would. <sighs> What's your job? What's bricks and mortar compared with stopping tyrants in their tracks? Howard, awful. Time for school. But how did they find out? Halfway Farms archives. As well as transport and potholes, well, well, what a busy man he is. Right. This is what we know so far. This part of town is Shines. Shine Town. Round the cathedral must be... Topquills. The financial district's archers. While out of town we've got... The sewage works. Erskine's territory, right? Right. All schools and polys. Venturis. Which just leaves this middle bit. So Hathaway is somewhere there. Museum! Hathaway's man looks sort of Elizabethan. Room C3. That way. Don't like museums, me. Old stuff. Bones and bits of junk. Should be on rubbish tip. Wait here. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah? Uh, could I speak to um, Mr. Hathaway, please? Oh. Yeah, he usually arranges to see people about now. Is it both of you? Oh, yes, please. This way, then. You keep going round to the right. You see his door, knock three times and go through. Thanks. Are you scared? Are you? It can't be worse than Shine's. We're back in time. In the past? Yes. Better than Shine's. <laughs> May I be of help to you? We'd... Well, um... We'd like to see Hathaway, please. Come with me, then. Show them in, and then bring us some refreshment. Now, is it possible that you come to me from your father? No, sorry, we came off our own bat. Enterprising. Why? To ask you things, of course, 
stupid. Ah, see here, little madam. Your father sent my secretary home in tears. It is I who should scowl at you. Dad had a lot to put up with. He had Archer and Talker already that morning, not to mention... Dear Dillian. How do you know? I keep in touch. So, what have you come to ask me? Stop digging up our road, you beast! <laughs> I'm afraid it just isn't funny anymore. Just because of Dad's 2,000 words, we... Wait. You haven't very long here. I can hold people from your time unchanged for an hour. After that, the longer anyone stays in the past, the older he becomes in his own present. I found out the hard way. After two years here, I became an old, old man in your time. Now, I could not go back at all. So, say what you have to say cogently without delay. Well, today's been the last straw for Dad. I mean, after having no light or gas, the cold, and Mum having to borrow food, and she's terrified of losing her job, and I just stop in the bank account. And well... a band. Talk will band. Ah. Here comes my wife with some spiced wine and cakes. Behold, Howard and Anthea Sykes. A long-suffering family they are, from what I hear. They could be your descendants. They do not have the look of a prince or princess. <laughs> I intend marrying a king. All my offspring will be royalty. But how could you be related to us? The name I use here is Moneypenny. That's Mum's old name. Ah, in that case, I must look in the archives. Come, Anne. No more spying on strangers. Awful. Don't drink too much of that, please. Ah, yes. Here it is. There will be money pennies in this town right down to your day. Ah, here's one of the last century marrying a hind. Hmm. Ah, Catriona Moneypenny does descend from this family. Married Quentin Jocelyn Sykes, children Howard Graham and Anthea Dolores. Why did you look at Howard like that? Like what? Like there's something you haven't told us. Hey, look, we've come into unfortunate territory soon from our very, very, very last junction. Now, I've decided that I'd come in here and just show you the people that sort of make children's BBC possible. There's people like this, engineers, who I always take the mickey out of wearing sandals, because you do normally, don't you? They don't normally wear striper tops. Then, there's the POAs. The BBC runs on code letters, and POA stands for something, which I don't actually know. But anyway, there's two of them. They make me sound just right. I hope you can hear me. Then there's the directors. Oh my word, then there's the camera who knock over lights. But apart from them, there's the director. I thought I was gonna I thought they were gonna kill me. Then there's the directors, you see, who are meant to be boss, but we don't know who's boss around here. And of course there's the network assistants, they do all the timings, there's the press fax operators, they make sure that every